Hi, this overview is going to take you through tests and quizzes in MyCR. To access the tests and quizzes tool in MyCR, after you've navigated to your class, click the tests and quizzes link in the course tools menu. When the tests and quizzes page loads, you'll be presented with a list of assessments that are currently available for you to take. This list contains the assessment title, any time limits that have been placed on the assessment, and the due date for the assessment. To access an assessment, click on the assessment's title. Before beginning an assessment, you'll be provided with some additional information. In this case, we are told that there is no due date for this assessment, that there is no time limit for this assessment, that this assessment is linear, which means you will see questions one at a time and you will not be able to go back to a previous question after clicking Next, that you will be able to submit this assessment one time, and that no feedback will be provided automatically based on your submitted answers. If we go back to the assessment list by clicking the Reset button, and then select another assessment, we will see that this assessment has different details. A due date is listed. There is a time limit in place. You could submit the assessment an unlimited number of times. And again, no feedback will be provided automatically based on your submitted answers. To begin taking the assessment, click the Begin Assessment button. You will now be presented with the assessment's questions and can work on answering them. Here are a few example question types commonly seen in the assessments. The first type is multiple choice. This multiple choice question states, what is the capital of Nebraska? Select your answer by placing a mark into the corresponding radio button. Once you have done this, you can continue to the next question by clicking the next button. The second type is short answer. This short answer question states, explain Nebraska's role in the American Civil War. Enter your answer into the text field provided. Because this test does not have the linear restriction, you may press the previous button if you need to go back and change answers you have given to previous questions. To continue to the next question, press the Next button. The third question type is fill in the blank. This fill in the blank question states, before Nebraska gained statehood, the capital of Nebraska territory was, to answer, type your answer into the text field provided, and press the Next button to continue. The last example is true or false. This true or false question states, Nebraska gained statehood in 1867. Select your answer by placing a mark into the radio button for true or false. Since this is the last question of the assessment, there is no next button. Instead, you will find a submit for grading button. Press the submit for grading button to submit your assessment answers. You will be asked to confirm, so press the Submit for Grading button one more time. After doing this, you will receive a confirmation that your assessment was submitted. You can press the Continue button to return to the assessment list. Toward the bottom of the assessments list, you will find a Submitted Assessments section that displays all of the assessments you have completed.